Hi, my name is Stacy Bressler, and I have an exciting new camping journal to bring out to everyone. It's a little different than you're used to. Uh, it's more bullet journal, I'd say. Less work log, less black and white, less old tables and check boxes. Because we all know that our camping journey is amazing and beautiful and different than everyone else's. So I wanted to make a camp book that fit that. So here is my author's proof. It, yours will not have the gray mark. Um, I wanted to bring a lot of color to it, make it seem more like an actual journal. And inside you'll find a lot of really handy stuff that you might not find in other ones. I'm going to start this off real personal. So you can put a picture of your rig here and a picture of your crew, wherever that is. Is it your partner, your family, your pet, heck your plants, because I would definitely take some plants with me wherever I went. And then you have a ton of space to fill in all the places you've been. It has a spot for the name, the location, and the dates you stayed. And I left a little spot down here if there's just one you love and you want to remember that to try it again. So once you have all that, we're going to move on to some more fun stuff you might see when you're camping. Here is a map and you can just fill in each date that you saw each state. So it's kind of fun and if you want to you can do something up here. I left that kind of optional. I colored it in a little bit in case you're not really good at coloring or whatever. But um, the date stuff is down here so that should be fun. And then, I don't know about you, but I am crazy about national parks. So let me show you the national park check off badge thing. Each of these has a little image representing the national park. It's all organized by state so it's really easy to find. Um, you can write your date visited and it has every single national park in the country and I also left a little spot right here should you um, have any really special state parks you've been wanting to go to or maybe you went to a national park uh, say in Canada and you want to write that here which I have some Canadian interest. I might have to get with one of my Canadian people here and really buckle down on making a Canadian version of all the national parks and such. I also have a spot for friends you've made because if you're like me, which you must be if you want a journal and not your phone to keep all your um, notes in, it's kind of nice to have a, just a physical copy of all the people you've met. So it has a spot for their name, a phone, email, and where and how you met them because it's nice to be able to go back to that and talk about, you know, where you met, good conversation starter. This is one of my favorites, bucket list. So I have on each, um, I have four pictures you can put in, four spots, plus a whole list of more bucket list destinations if you have a bigger list than four, and I must have like a hundred. So anyways, um, you can write your destination here, a spot where you made it, and best of all, you can paste a little picture right in these boxes when you actually do make it to your bucket list thing. Right now, I think it is the Grand Canyon for me because I went as a child and uh, it was just awe-inspiring, so I hope to bring the kids there. So hopefully, one of my first little spots will be the Grand Canyon. Or Arches National Park again. I mean, I've been there already, but I don't know. It was so fun. So here's those other spots for bucket list dreams. You can fill in there. And here's the real meat of the book. This is what makes a book so long, but I have heard a lot of complaints. I've done a lot of research into this book. I've kind of been stalking a lot of RV groups to find out what people complain about. I've read the Amazon reviews. We want more spots for more campgrounds. We also want more space. And this is an easy to look at view of the campground. You can write the name, location, date stage, spot number, average temps, and uh, cost per night, because we all know that is a pretty big determining factor of where we're going to stay when we're traveling. And we all know when we pull in, we see, we drive by somewhere, like, I wish I could have stayed there. Well, now you can write that. I put the best spot number for next time. Um, a nice little amenities box, just so you know. Uh, most things are on there, so whatever's important to you, make sure you mark that off when you stay there. Nearby attractions, uh, just things that were of interest there, you know? It's good to know for next time, is it easy access to town? Is it a long drive? Is it a nice trail nearby? It's good to know. And then here's more notes, your favorite memory from the camp. Notes from for next time, like don't go in spot 
3A because it's right next to the restrooms and it stinks or <laughs> don't go, you know, wherever it is. Remember that for next time, should you go again? And then I kind of left this spot up to you guys. You can write in it, I did put lines, or paste your favorite picture there. Um, where was easiest for you? So that's gonna be the bulk of the book because I want you guys to have lots of space for lots of camp trips because the more camping, the better, right? So we're just flipping through it and this is a full color, um, eight and a half by 11 inch book. It's kind of out of a normal style of book, but everyone always wants more space to write stuff. So I wanted to make it the full size so we have lots of room to write, lots of room for pictures if that's just your preferred method of documenting stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys back here at the end. There's a little bit of stuff just for uh, newer campers or people who have horrible memory like I do. Let's see here. There's a lot. I think there's 70 something spots to write down your campsites. So I made a quick little departure checklist because I always feel like I'm forgetting something and I don't want you guys to have that feeling. So um, it might not apply to everyone, but hopefully it's a good guideline for when you go. And then I do think it's important to have tools, especially since I know a lot of you might camp a lot, maybe even full time. Um, and it's nice to be able to fix your own, your own setup so you can at least hobble your way to a repair shop because we once got stuck and uh, right near Sheridan near the Bighorn Mountains and we had to pay 300 for a tow. That was really terrible. And well, to be fair, we couldn't have fixed that one, but a lot of things we have fixed that has been very helpful. I have a really basic personal item packing list, not clothes or things, everyone's going to be different, but some important medical items and first aid items and just general hygiene items because, you know, no one wants to be dirty when you're camping. I mean, we're in campers, right? So I'm not trying to rough it too much. And then just in case I didn't cover anything, I left a whole notes section right here. Um, a couple pages of notes and then... Thank you for your purchase. My little note to you, I have one at the start and the end. Because this has been a labor of love. I have a website um, before this where I write a lot about RV stuff, uh, camping stuff, especially camping with kids. And it is called thecrazyoutdoormama.com. So of course, I mentioned that, you know. Um, but I hope this is what you guys needed. Like I said, I've done a lot of research on Amazon reviews, on what people wanted. I have been in groups. I have probably asked some of the groups, if you're hearing this, you see me, I probably asked you guys what you thought about it. Um, so yeah, this is the campsite journal, a camping journal as beautiful as your journey. Thanks for watching. Bye.